Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the MyKit MK72 keyboard, and this is a build-it-yourself kit, which I'm kind of excited to do because it's not quite as intermediate as you might think. This is pretty beginner oriented because these are hot swap switches and a hot swap keyboard that is mostly already put together. We just have to put the switches in and we have to put the keycaps on and that should be pretty much it. All the software and everything should be good to go, but obviously these keyboards are pretty cool because you can do a lot of modifications and out of the box they come so that you can have a full experience putting it together yourself. Now, we'll probably be doing a video later on on this keyboard as well, so make sure you subscribe to Toasty DIY, but this is the MyKit DK65. This one comes put together and ready to go. So make sure you guys subscribe if you wanna see that keyboard a little bit later. But today we're gonna to be focusing on this keyboard the specific one will say on the box, but we ended up getting this kind of like hollow green effect one with the gold brown pro switches. And the exact model is the MK72 in white sage color with gold brown pro switches, which I believe are TTC. And the actual keyboard itself is $119. And the keycaps completely bare on top, they're nice and see-through, and then on the side you actually have the letter. So a much cleaner layout than you get with your normal keyboard. I really like the packaging too. I love how they include the switches. This is just super fun to me. And as you can see here, this is the actual box that it comes in, TTC switches. It kind of tells you how to put them in to make sure you don't bend the actual prongs, because that would suck. You'd have to unbend them and hopefully not break them off. But we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So the packaging is pretty minimalistic. So basically you have a sheath here that has two separate boxes inside. I really love how they did this. They did a wonderful job uh, with their branding, but basically you just have your keycaps in here and then you have your actual keyboard in here. So we're gonna go ahead, let's see if we can open this up. Boom, there we go. So now we can see, we get some basic instruction. It tells you your layered function rows and all that good stuff. So I'll go ahead and just kind of show this on the screen so you guys can uh, get a look at how everything works. This is wireless too, or wired. Now that's something that's pretty cool because not only can it do 2.4 gigahertz, it's also Bluetooth and wired. So you have every single mode you could possibly want. It's USB-C, which everyone loves that interface. I know I do. And then we also have some LED indicators on the side to tell you what mode you're in or if you're in pairing mode. Some super awesome stickers, which I know we are going to absolutely love here at the Toaster Bros. We love putting stickers on everything here. Um, let's see what we got here, a warranty card. Nice and small, nice and cute. And then here's the actual keyboard. Now, ooh, it looks like we get some, I like this. We get some extra custom keys, it looks like. We have a switch and keycap puller. So this is to pull the keycaps right here. You guys could put your keycap in, pull it. And then this is to actually pull your switches. You squeeze and then pull out. Uh, we have our cable here. I know a lot of you guys are actually, a lot of people actually care about the cable. Ooh, it's braided, braided USB-C. Pretty, pretty floppy, which I like. I don't like a super stiff cable. And then here are these extra keys, which have things written on them like, let's see, we got code, we got uh, option, we got CMD, which I love to see that, that's super cool. So I may end up using these, I'm not really too sure yet. Um, let's go ahead and open the actual keyboard frame up itself. So the keyboard already has the back plate, the PCB, and all of the software and everything loaded onto it. So it's really, like I said, a pretty simple build. Shouldn't really take too much time at all. The worst part is just gonna be plopping in each one of these keys, but man, this thing has some good build quality. Look at these stabilizers. These stabilizers are just super clean looking. They're like a nice gold stabilizer. They actually have lube on them. I can see the lube down in there. Man, that is super nice. Here's our USB. That's kind of cool, it's magnetic. You don't see that very often. Normally they're like stuck in there. I, I love the back of this keyboard, like the color scheme and everything. You can see the full PCB. It does not have flip out feet, but it doesn't really need them. It has a pretty nice profile to it that I really appreciate. Here's our single USB-C. Um, kind of minimalistic. It's like minimalistic in its own way. Um, I like the logo. It's kind of like a gel cover, but that is really not a bad price for such an artist and keyboard. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to open these brown switches up, which by the way, I'm not normally a, a brown switch fan, but these ones are pretty nice sounding. I like the, um, they're a very, very subtle bump. Like there's almost no tactile to it. It almost just feels like red. So it's, it's pretty exciting. Let's go ahead and start putting these in.
All right, guys, well, that wasn't too bad. I think that took me maybe five minutes. We have one extra brown switch left over. So now I'm gonna go ahead and carefully open our key caps and try to get both of these in frame the best I can. But it's gonna be pretty straightforward. It probably makes sense. I'm gonna flip it over like this. And now they're pretty much in the exact order they need to be in. Like I said, some of these kind of got a little jumbled in shipping, but basically it's pretty, pretty easy because these stems will just pretty much line right up. So there we go, we already got one key cap on. That sounds nice. All right, we'll get to the sound in a little bit. We gotta, we gotta stay focused, guys. All right, so now just trying to make sure we get everything on in the right order. Yeah, because we do definitely have some, some key caps that uh, fell off and whatnot. So we're definitely a little bit out of order here, but I don't think this should be a huge deal because I should be able to figure out where pretty much everything goes. So now we're gonna go ahead and time lapse again to me trying to get all these keycaps on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the MyKit keyboard is built and this thing is looking pretty freaking clean. I'm really liking it. Um, as far as the build process goes, very easy. The worst thing was just the fact that the uh, keycaps kind of came a little out of order. So I guess my one recommendation would be maybe trying to like fit this in a little better uh, just so the keycaps can't wiggle around at all. But it did come from very far. I think this might've came from overseas. So it had a very long travel. I'm honestly just glad the keycaps weren't more out of order, but I was able just to look at pictures on their website and pretty easily get everything um, in order. I'm not a super keyboard expert. So I'm sure if you built enough, you probably know where all the keycaps go naturally. So now that we've gotten it built, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get it plugged up and we're gonna go ahead and do a little typing test. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do a quick typing test of these gold brown switches.
All right, so some quick features and specs of the MyKit MK72. So this is a 72 key layout, which is definitely a little different. It's light, portable, has a compact and ergonomic design, fully hot swappable, no soldering needed, which is very nice. Three different modes of connection, which I kind of briefly touched on earlier, Bluetooth 5.1, 2.4 gigahertz with the USB dongle, and of course wired with USB-C. We have seamless switching, so it is very easy to connect and switch between the three different functions. It is Mac OS compatible, the function keys fully compatible, a pretty long battery life endurance of 50 days with the 3000 milliamp hour battery. And that's with about eight hours of use under Bluetooth connection with the backlight off. So this will vary with the backlight on, you might get something more like five to six hours per day of use. We also have RGB backlight with 16 million color RGB effects. I couldn't somehow not even see the RGB LEDs in this keyboard, but they're definitely there. This thing is beautiful. We have in key rollover with unlimited key press, and then we have detachable cable. So if you wanna get a really nice artisan cable. So once again, the model is the MK72. It's a 70% ANSI layout. It is a, of course, mechanical keyboard. It comes with a 12 month limited hardware warranty. The case material is ABS. It is 328 millimeters long by 148 millimeters tall by 42 millimeters in depth. And the approximate weight is 740 grams. It has 72 keys. And of course you can get it with Gatoron or TTC. They have a very, very large selection of keycaps. Now the keycap material is ABS. The profile is cherry. The legend is side printing. As you can see here, we do have the larger key style with cherry PCB mount stabilizers. The response time is one millisecond wired and with the 2.4 gigahertz and then Bluetooth is eight milliseconds. So that's pretty sweet that with wired and wireless with the dongle, you get about the same. Now polling rate is a thousand hertz wired or 2.4 and 125 hertz on Bluetooth. It is USB type C interface. The rated power input is five volts at one amp and is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android. Now that we've kind of checked out this keyboard guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys subscribe to DIY and give Give our friends over at MyKit and also iKunix a check. If you want a slightly nicer keyboard that's a little bit more artisan, maybe more in the $200 range, check out iKunix. I'll have a link in the description down below. But if you want to go a little bit cheaper, you want some really unique keyboards, check out MyKit, especially if you maybe even want to build your own just like I did here. So once again, guys, don't forget to check out our main channel, Toasty Bros, Toasty Clips. Don't forget to check out our social media and check out today's keyboard sponsors. And we'll see you guys in the next one.